Okay, so today we will learn that how a simple string, a kind of date can be converted properly into date format. Okay. So uh, the function regarding it is, I will tell you, what is the function? It is str hyphen to date okay to hyphen date this is that particular function which we can use for this conversion okay all sorry right let us start what you have to write in order to get any output you should first write what Anyone please tell me. We should write select, right? Select. Select. Okay. Then I have to write the same thing. As I already told you, uppercase, lowercase is not a problem in my SQL. Within this, you have to mention the string, okay? And the date format in which that string is, okay? So SQL will convert that thing into proper date format according to ISQL. So always uh, mention the date that is in string format within inverted comma, okay? Suppose it is like uh, today's date is 21 October, right? 21 October 2022. Sorry. 2022. This is today's date. This is in a string format. Now, if you want to convert it into a proper date format in terms of MySQL, in that case, you have to mention that which part is what like that. So first 21 refers to day. So in that case, you should write percentage, then D, okay? After that hyphen is there, then you have to put hyphen, okay? Then month is there, okay? 10 means month. So percentage, you have to write M, okay? Then hyphen, after that you have to write Capital Y. Always remember you have to write capital Y because here year is four digit number. If it is two digit number, you have to write small y. Is it clear, everyone? Clear. No. Okay. Yes. So when I am running this particular code, you can see over here. Now it is converted into proper date format corresponding to MySQL. Uh, where first year will be there, then month, then date. Okay, this is the format regarding SQL. Now, this particular string is converted into proper SQL date format. Is it clear, everyone? And one more thing, you have to put semicolon. Okay, otherwise in uh, next code, it may show error. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, will, uh, will this recording will be shared to us? Yes, yes, I will upload it in YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Now, next is regarding uh, the, uh, like if I'm putting some statement like, uh, wait a second, select an str to date. Sorry, date. Now, if I am, with an inverted uh, uh, comma, if I am putting 21, 10, 20, 22, what should I write corresponding to it? Please tell me. Right now I told you, little hint. Now you can tell me that what should I put over here within inverted comma. Uh, in between hyphen is not there 
everything is written in continuous format. So how we should write over here? Or, uh, we shouldn't keep any hyphens there. Yes, correct. Like this. In this case, actually, case matters, OK? Capital Y and small y matters over here. So control enter. Now you can see it is converted properly. If I am putting any hyphen over here, you can see what will happen. Okay. If I am putting any hyphen over here, as I did earlier, so what will happen? Nothing will be displayed. Okay. I should always put it in a format in which the date is right otherwise i can't get anything null will be displayed so what is the format of date that you are inputting the same format you have to arrange it okay properly is it clear everyone right? yes ma'am now it is in proper format Okay. Now here I am mentioning like 21, 10, 22. How should I write the rest of the part? Okay, okay. How should I write it? Please tell me. Percentage D. Yes. Percentage M. M. Yes. Then? Without percentage Y. Without percentage, small ones. No, without not percentage, not without percentage. Percent is small ones. Small by small. Small by correct, correct, correct. B. Oh, capital Y. Sorry. My caps cap lock was yeah, my, my caps lock was on. That's why. Okay. Then percentage small y. Small y. Correct. Then semicolon. Control enter. Yeah. Now we got it. Mm. If we are putting capital Y, let us see what will happen. Then also we are getting the thing. Okay. But it is in uh, 2022. That is okay in this case. But sometimes it creates some problems. Okay. I will tell you how. If you are taking totally different thing like 2022, 20, okay, then 11, then 21. Uh, not 11, 10, sorry. Okay, now if you are arranging it, then how should I put it? Everyone, please tell me. Percentage of Y. Percentage capital Y. y. Percentage capital Y, then percentage, percentage M. M. Month M. Then percentage, M. percentage D. D. Yes. Okay, now also it is okay. But if I am taking small y over here, okay. So in that case, control enter will give me error. Why? Why it is because happening? you have uh, here 2022 you have uh, taken number here percentage small y you have given so it shows error uh, the thing is that okay uh, only this much yeah, part is taken as year that means 2020 yes. yes okay and this one is taken as month it is not possible 22nd month is not possible this one is taken as date. 
this one is taken as date okay if i am making it zero to let us see what is the change okay control enter now it is properly showing right so that yes, month okay. format was the issue because okay. only up to 12 months are there when i have written over here two what does it mean 22nd month it is not possible that that's why it is showing null so that is how capital Y and small y, if we are placing it wrongly, it creates some issues. You understood my point? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So if I am taking this, uh, making it more clear. Okay, now if I'm taking 2022, 20, okay, then what should I write for date? Only 2022 20, is there. Then what should be written with percentage? Percentage capital Y. Percentage Y. The capital Y. Okay. Only. Yeah, because only this uh, year is mentioned. So corresponding to okay. that, it will appear like this. And if I'm putting small y over here, what will be the output? Anyone please tell me. It will not come. It will come. It will come. It's 2020. Okay. Okay, this 22 is not considered. Okay, this 22 is not considered. Now also 2020 will come. Okay. Is it clear everyone? When you will do yes, yours, you will understand how it works. Okay. Now if I'm putting uh, like select str underscore two underscore eight within bracket if I am putting some 13 comma percentage m what will happen what it will show it shows error, mom, because 13 then will not, not error. error. It won't show error. It will be executed, but it will show null only. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry. No problem. So instead of it, if you are putting D, D, small d, okay. In that case, it will show like this date, okay. Date will be taken as 13. And if you are uh, putting y, small y, it will become 2013th year. Okay. If you are putting capital Y, then also it is taken as 2013. Right? Is it clear, everyone? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. So uh, now if I am taking it as, uh, I am making it. Uh, Capital M, we have dealt with small m only. Now regarding capital M, if I'm con uh, doing control enter, what will should uh, it show? Any Anyone, any guess? Okay, let us execute it. It is showing null because it is month only, but it is month in some another form, okay? Okay. For some problem. It should give October actually. Okay. 
if you are putting one over here and small d over here sorry control enter it is showing one okay zero one but if you are putting e over here and control enter in that case also one right if you are putting 11 and e in that case it will show 11 because that means uh, this e means date only okay e is also a form of date from 1 to 31 okay if you are giving simply one then also it will accept it. wait a second Okay, so here it will show one. It, uh, e also mean date only. Okay. So Now, what I am doing is I am taking uh, the time thing, okay? The current time is 6.22. So, let us take that time, okay? First of all, we have to mention hours, like 06, then hyphen, then 22, then hyphen some seconds, like 8, okay, all right. 44 like that okay now in case of hours mint and time you have to mention like percentage h then what should i put everyone what is the symbol that i should put my voice is audible to all of you Yes, yeah, I should man. put hyphen because hyphen is there, right? Okay. Then in case of mint, I have to put percentage i. Then in case of second, I have to put percentage s. So it is showing the time. Clear? Always remember regarding hour, you have to put H and regarding means it's I small i and regarding seconds it's S right mm. If I am mentioning like 5, 22, 42, what should I write corresponding to it if I am mentioning it as time? Percentage H. Percentage H. Then? Percentage I. Percentage I. I then percentage Yes. Okay. So always remember in which format you are putting things over here. In the same format, things will should be mentioned over here on also. Okay. If I am uh, taking comma, then you have to put. Uh, I mean, if in between comma is there, okay. 
whatever symbol is there you have to copy it as it is over there also control enter now also it is working okay so that was regarding time and uh, here also if you want to take them individually that also can be done select that concludes the module so what's the cloud anyway simple answer to this question is please mute your audio refers to software and services that run on the internet instead of locally on a computer the advantage of the cloud is that you can Who is this Moto G thirty one? Please mute your audio. So if you are putting nothing, okay, and if you are mentioning things like this, okay, then what will happen? Anyone, please tell me. there is nothing it is empty okay then on running this particular command what should come ma'am null current uh, time no it shows uh, i will tell you it will show 0 0 because it is empty it will not show null okay okay if here i am mentioning like uh, 77 okay then what will happen ma'am uh, the format is not same ma'am But uh, not same. But let us see what will happen. It is showing null. It will take uh, this seventy seven as h, which which is not possible, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. If I am uh, taking it in format also, like twenty three comma twelve. Okay. Then in that case, control enter will give me null only. Because we have to take care that how much a particular thing can hold. small h can hold only up to 24 okay so um, sorry small h can hold up to 12 only okay i am putting some 24 over here let us see what will happen control enter it is again showing null but if instead of small h i am putting small capital h okay i am taking capital h so in that case you can see okay uh, 23 let us take 23 24 is not okay 23. yeah now it is okay is it clear everyone yeah ma'am no. See in case of small h for twenty three null is there, because small h is defined from zero to twelve only, and capital H is defined from zero to twenty four. Okay, so if I am taking capital H, like this things will come. Okay, now here. Uh, Okay. Select. If you are uh, earlier, I missed something regarding capital M, right? If you are taking uh, something like January. Oh, sorry. Okay. percentage let us see what will happen 
yeah it is showing january okay earlier i was mistaken by saying that uh, numbers and the capital m it is not possible i have to mention this uh, complete name of the month then only i can use capital m is it clear everyone if i am taking it as uh, 1 january 2022 then i have to mention like percentage d hyphen hyphen percentage what should i write everyone what should i write capital y capital y correct y y yes now it is okay right so whenever you are writing month in terms of uh, words so in that case you have to use capital m okay i hope it is clear to all of you so uh, what if i am taking something like uh, i don't know whether it is correct or not but i am taking thing like sunday okay i don't know whether it was a sunday or not but no problem if i am mentioning day in that case i have to put percentage w okay let us take today's date itself that would be appropriate 21 today's uh, uh, friday Friday, twenty-one October. Okay. Control and now it is showing today's date. Okay, so whenever you are mentioning day, in that case you have to put this percentage W. Okay, like weekdays. Is it clear, everyone? Sunday to Saturday, you can mention with the help of capit uh, percentage capital W. Okay. I hope it is clear to all of you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, we can also use uh, date and time functions uh, directly given in the SQL. Data. We can directly use uh, date and time uh, inbuilt functions, right? Yeah, those kind of functions are also there. I'm I'm taking this session regarding this particular function only. Uh, okay. Those kinds of uh, program were already taken. Like I will tell you. Uh, opens date time functions. This one was taken earlier, like current date. What is current date? Okay, control. Uh -huh. So it is showing current date. Okay, what is current time? So control enter. It is showing current time. This portion was taken earlier. You can check out the YouTube channel. Okay, and what is now? It will show you date and time both. Okay, if you want to know current day, in that case, it is showing twenty one, like this day name. Okay, control enter. It is showing Friday. This portion was taken earlier. You please check out the YouTube channel video regarding data analytics uh, live classes. There you can find that thing. Okay. Yeah, sure. Control enter here. So this is showing here like that month also you can do. These are some inbuilt function which you can use. Okay, if you want an interval also, that also you can do like an interval. About what was the date one week ago? What was the date uh, some days ago? Those kind of things, right? So I hope things are clear to you. I am now. I am going to ask you uh, something. Okay, let us take a new sheet. Select S T R two 
एट ओके इफ आई एम मेन्शनिंग लाइक फ्राइडे सॉरी फ्राइडे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ओके वाट शुड कम नेक्स्ट टू इट एनी वन percentage w percentage w w correct taste percentage space percentage capital percentage capital y yes correct let us see with the uh, return yeah it is working okay here case would in matter if i am taking it in small case also it is not an issue twenty two ten If I am putting percentage W, first uh, then percentage uh, D, M percentage D. What will it show? No. Yes, because it is a wrong format. Yes, it is a wrong format. Correct. Because I can't put W over here. okay right and if i putting uh, if i am putting some year like thing over here then what will it show why it is also wrong ma'am yes wrong format yeah yeah correct it is also wrong and if i am putting like uh, okay now what will happen also no year format because is days there. are not correct yeah days are not correct it is still 45 right yes if i am making it 05 what will happen now it is okay like year is okay okay year part is okay Month part is ten. That is also okay. Day part is five. That is also okay. Clear, everyone? Ma'am, year is two thousand two ten, ma'am. No, I am taking a random year. Okay, okay. It is also possible, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. In future. Yeah, in future. <laughs> okay. So that's it. so i hope things are clear to all of you right yes, yes. this this was regarding str to date here you can see that uh, the case is not a matter only the thing within the uh, this um, single quotes case is an issue okay here case is not an issue okay whether i am taking it in uh, i mean i am mentioning it as capitals Or I, or I am putting it as in lower case. Then also no issue. Okay. Okay. If I am um, mixing it, then also no problem. Okay. If I am taking partially uh, capital things and partially small things, I mean lower case, upper case, both mixed together, then also there won't be an issue. Okay. Still, it's showing the correct thing. only within this single quotes you should take care is it clear everyone yes yes okay 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 so let us close this session so happy learning all
So I will upload this session in YouTube. You all please check out from there. Right? Bye all. Bye ma'am. Bye ma'am.